Okay, hey guys, Connor here, and uh, today I'll be showing you this box-like intro. Basically, it's where the box starts to create itself by following the lines around, the text appearing, and then some text dropping down. You may have seen this about, I know I have quite a bit, but I'll be showing you basically it today. So, you want to go to composition, new composition, I'm going to make the width 12, 8, plus 7, 20, 60 frames per second, and 10 seconds long. Hit OK. Then I'm going to make go to click and hold and go to rectangle tool. And I'm going to drag in a rectangle in the middle. Hit shift so it's a perfect square. Then if you go to this little icon down here, click title action safe. This will bring up the pop properties of the area so you can perfectly center up the box. Then you can undo this by just going to the same action and ticking it again. Now you want to make a backdrop. So you want to go to new and you want to go to solid. Make it com size and make the color black. Then drag it below the layer. You may not, you won't notice any difference. It's just a layer behind it. So then you want to go onto that shape layer that you just made, and you want to go to layer, and you want to pre-compose the layer so you so it's editable in the further stage. And revert back or delete that for now. Then once you've got that layer, you can go to the pen tool, and you can just start to mask around the edges by ticking all points to the edges going around it doesn't matter what way you go you can go down first or you can go right first I went right first doesn't matter go to then go then you want to go to the select tool and once you've basically selected the mask go to effect and is it stylize it's not stylize no it's generate go to generate and stroke then if you change the keep the brush size about two two point two maybe and go to paint style on transparent on transparent. Now if you start to increase you won't notice it naturally. So you go to the beginning of your key beginning of your project, tick on the end, tick the top stopwatch and make sure it's on zero. Then move one second forward, depending on how long you want it to take to make the box. Tick the end to one hundred. And if you have a look here, it starts to create the box. Now to get the text that appears inside the box, you just want to go to the text all up here, plonk it in the middle, I'm going to write CD, and do capitals, center it up in the middle, that's about, that's alright I suppose. Then if you go to T on that layer, it brings up the opacity options. Now just before the box has made itself, just there, I'm going to hit the stopwatch again and change the opacity to zero. Then about half a second later, you're going to crank it up to 100. And as you'll see, it starts to emerge, basically fading in. Okay, so now you've got the text and the text appearing. What we're going to do now is have the text drop under the box itself. So what to do this, you want to go to a new, I'm going to make a new box. And you want to drag the stroke to zero, but the fill to black. And you want to go over that outline of the previous box. But then you want to go and drag that down and drag it just before the, just above the background so it shows. I see I went a bit wrong there, so I'm just going to have it so it's the same as that one. Okay, so then when you've got that there, you want to drag the little blue bar here and I'm going to drag it just beyond one second and then if you create then if you go to the text then you click control D then if you drag the text under where it will appear and write what you want all right chrome designs I'm going to highlight it all I'm going to drag down this on all of it then control A I'm going to drag down the size to about 50 roughly 52 now be about 40 there we go now if you have it here okay if you then try and move if you then get the that text then you drag it just below the shape layer the box that you just made nope sorry you drag that text and drag it just below you won't notice any difference but if you try and make it go above the box it won't so if you just have it up here for now and then when you want it to start dropping down 
I'm going to have it just dropping down about there. And I'm going to go to the down arrow and I'm going to go to transform. I'm going to scare, hit the stopwatch on position. And then make make sure the position's there. And then go forward a few seconds. And just hit down on your keyboard. And it will go there. Then if you just, that's it basically. So if you just scrub through this now, the box makes itself. What's happening to that? Ah, oh, I know what. You will need to delete the opacity keyframes if you duplicated that text. So, if you can go to Chrome Designs and then drag it. So, let's look. When does it need to appear? It needs to appear after that. So, just there. You will see it starts to make itself. Text fades in. And the text drops. Okay, so that's it for today. Make sure you remember to remember to like the video if you actually liked it. And uh, I'm Connor, and I'm sure I'll see you guys soon. Bye.